Oh, by the way, I forgot. Or I just might celebrate. In two days, if everything goes as according to plan, I will be vaccinated. Yeah. In today's episode, how do you do it? So we're welcome under this. Have I tried this before? I think I have. Or is this another one? Under the sea. So Monday in Sweden, Stockholm, sun is semi-shining. I am sort of feeling a bit under the weather. No, not really under the weather, but I'm... Yes, pollen in the air. I'm really... I don't know if I've always been susceptible to that and just lately been thinking about it. It's not really sort of... I'm a little bit tired and a bit, bit like that. That's all. So what's going to happen today? Well, the ball, that shower hose that Ulf gave me yesterday. That's sort of the main plan today, which sounds like my life is, it's a riveting tale. I will also be doing some cooking, so I am going to start computing the amount of calories in this. I am glad to say that my diet is working. I'm losing weight but it's too early to give up because I haven't reached, I'm, I'm not quite sure what number I'm going to go, but I still have quite a bit to go. So today I'm going to make Thai dressed potatoes with tofu and broccoli. And I thought my, so I always freeze the, the tofu because it, it makes it more meaty. And yesterday I thought, sort of took it out of the freezer and put it into the fridge and thought it would be thawed, but it has not. So it's now out in the air, hopefully thawing. I will computing like mad. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Or I just might celebrate. In two days, if everything goes as according to plan, I will be vaccinated. Yeah. Okay, people, let's do some Thai dressed potato with tofu and broccoli. So I'm steaming uh, about seven chopped up potatoes. I will be adding the stems of four broccoli. I don't know, four broccoli. Yeah. And I will do that now. So I've sort of cubed the tofu that is now thawed, finally. And I will be tossing it with one tablespoon of cornstarch just to when I fry it to make it have some sort of surface it's yeah tastes better now I'm heating up a pan and I will be adding one tablespoon <laughs> just about of a rapeseed oil and then I'm going to fry these fuckers and I'm going to cut these up and fry them as well Okay, people, let's get go. Oh, let's get go wing. <laughs> Maybe I should have used a bigger pan. Yes, I definitely should. Now we'll be making the sauce, and it's an easy one. You're going to be using this. In a food processor, you add uh, ginger as much as you like. I like a clump and four cloves of garlic and oh god this smells so good and then you whisk away I said whisk I didn't mean whisk I meant whiz then you add a tablespoon of spood of sambal olek you decide that it's idiotic to try to fry this in this so you switch to wok and to this sauce you add four tablespoons of tamari and four tablespoons of lime and i'm using bottled one i know it's not really good but it's better it's lime is so damn expensive and then you add four tablespoons of sesame oil which sounds like quite a lot and you whisk away no you whiz away So, and since this is a meal prep, we're going to fill these uh, takeaway containers. And it, as I often do this, I just turn them upside down. I try to always put the things I want to go on top 
in the bottom. In this case, that will be the salad, no, onions, spring onions. God. But first, I will start by about the equivalent of one tablespoon of sesame seeds in every one. That's quite a lot of sesame seeds, I know. This is a weird recipe. And now on to the spring onions. Preparation is ready. The tofu and the top of the broccoli are done, so I turn up the heat. I'm just waiting for the steamed broccoli and the potatoes to be done. Then I will put this into that and add the delicious sauce. Okay, people, let's do this. Just mixing them and sort of letting the potatoes lose some of its steam. I hope they're done. When I taste it, it's done. I'll turn that off. So I'm just going to let them sit here for a while before adding the dressing. I'm going to thin out the sauce with half a deciliter of water just to make it easier to pour and easier to sort of because it will evaporate. Okay people here we go and mix and mix and mix and mix. Okay people it's time to start one spoon Two spoon, no, one spoon as well. God, one spoon, one spoon. Well, you get it. Now it's time to serve. Let's see if this if this worked. Yeah, did nice. Well, quite a lot left, but okay, people. Time for a taste test of this. What Thai dressed potatoes to and tofu and broccoli something. I'm going to start with a great chunk of tofu. Mmm, tofu is great. And the sauce is good. I thought it would be too much sesame oil, but no. I might have, I should maybe add, have added some more Sambal Olek, but it's good enough. Good enough for me. I mean, yeah. So I've been watching a documentary on uh, British landscape designers in the 17th, 18th, 18th century, like Capability Brown and other interesting names. And I just want to show you outside, it is sort of, there's sort of sun seeping through, but my apartment is going to grow darker and darker because the, as long as they get leaves on the trees it sort of it's it's it, it gets shady so i think now is about the sort of the brightest it'll ever be because next week i mean there will be leaves and darkness in here darkness has come Anyway, I know that millions of millions of you viewers want to know how about that fire hose. No, not fire hose, but shower hose have not. So this is the shower before, oh, that's a tomato plant. Uh, that's the shower before, and that's soap from Lush. Uh, uh, yes, and lovely things. So um, this is before the changing of the shower hose. Hopefully it'll work. I have no idea. So I start by taking away the shower heads because if this then I won't do it. This shower hose that Ulf gave me, it's absolutely new. It's, it's unused. I thought it was something he got rid of. But anyway, let's see if it fits. No problemas. Let's see the other end. As the bishop said to the choir boy. So people, absolutely no problem. I thought this would be tiresome and irritated, and it's not. <laughs> How very beautiful. How weird. This is something I've been dreading all day, so let's see if it works. It does. This is my favourite 
steam. People, I give you my vegan dinner. That pasta I made with black lentils, or beluga lentils, and a great big fantastic salad. So as summer arrives or so drawing near we get a lot of boats in Stockholm and the boats brings this bridge openings. Most of us hate this. <laughs> Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.